The van's covered in snow. I'm covered in cold sweat. It's not pleasant at all. And uh, I've got to drive the van for the first time in the snow and ice, slippery road conditions, very hazardous. I've got to go to the pharmacy to get some meds because uh, you may be aware of my mental health issues, uh, but I also have a physical one as well because I'm type one diabetic. Um, so I've got to go to the pharmacy to collect some insulin and this is not the weather to do it in. Mm. Well, that's going to be fun to scrape off the windscreen, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Well, <laughs> better get scraping then. Don't be scared. Be brave. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good The stain. Oh, hill. Hill. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. And there's a car coming. Oh, please pull over and let me go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Be brave. Be brave. Oh, flushing. Thank you. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share it here, I forgive me and joy. Everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way Okay, well I made it as far as the pharmacy We'll see what happens next It's like there's a car park in the middle of Narnia. We can fly away from here. We can stay close, my dear. Swept up and away from all our fears. It's a metaphor. I'm in the woods. Um, Today is the day after my um, castle ghost hunt video uh, went live on YouTube and it didn't get the analytics that I was hoping for. Um, it started off very slow, got worse. Uh, when I checked the analytics, people were switching off in their droves. Uh, so I was very disappointed, had a little cry and uh, seriously considered giving up YouTubing. Uh, I can't give up van life, unfortunately, because I'm financially committed to the van for the next seven years. Um, so I've got to find a way to make it work. And that's frankly terrifying. Um, I want van life, I love van life, um, in a way I need van life, um, so van life must continue, I've kind of committed myself in a way that I can't wriggle out of. YouTube, I need to make YouTube work as well, somehow 
I need to make YouTube work because YouTube needs to feed van life and vice versa. It's a symbiotic relationship. And somewhere in the middle of that symbiosis is me. On our own, together we can go slow. Yes. I am very much in the woods. But it's beautiful. <laughs> it's Narnia. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ah. I'm actually starting to feel better. There's something about there's something about being surrounded by winter trees covered with snow in a quiet and peaceful forest that just has a Narnian effect on me. Hello, welcome to Kit's Getting Fat show. I'm about to do cookery. I know it's not part of the normal milieu of this channel, um, but I've been inspired. Um, specifically, I've been inspired by Mandy from John and Mandy. Um, she made a pizza in a recent episode, and I thought, even I could do that. It's a two ingredient dough recipe uh, consisting of flour and Greek yogurt. Mix them together, apparently you get dough. Um, now, I'm not a cook and I know nothing about flour. There were millions to choose from, but I chose the one that said bread flour because that seemed like a safe bet. Um, so um, I'm going to mix some bread flour with some Greek yogurt and make some dough. And then upon that dough, I'm going to spread toppings and call it a pizza. Oh, it's messy. It's messy. I don't like flour, it's messy. Right, so what do I want? I want 500 grams, don't I? This could be a big mistake. 499 500 done like a boss Isn't that what the kids say like a boss anyway so fold up the flour turn off the scales we don't need those anymore all right let's open up our greek yogurt oh, packaging Okay, so I guess I'm just going to spoon the yogurt into the bowl and that will make dough. I'm glad I thought to bring a wooden spoon. Mandy used her fingers. I'm not exactly sure what the correct mixing protocol is. Just throwing flour all over myself. <laughs> Be brave. Okay, well look, this looks ridiculously dry, but my hands are clean by the way. I used uh, um, I used uh, I used Dettol to clean all my stuff with so that everything would be clean. Oh, I've put my hand in it. According to Mandy's uh, two ingredient recipe, uh, the third ingredient is garlic. I forgot to take note of how much garlic she put in. 
I'm just going to put in a lot. And um, uh, the fourth, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth ingredient. Uh, ingredient. The fourth, fourth. Oh my God. The fourth, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth ingredient uh, were herbs and things and seasoning. And again, can't remember what she put in there. I'm using Italian herb. We put quite a lot of that in there. I apologise for all the shaking. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm shaking and baking. <laughs> I'm shaking and baking. Oh, that's funny. Oh, come on, admit it. That's funny. It's working. It's working. Ah! Okay. Had a catastrophe with the camera. Don't worry. Nothing to see here. Like a boss again. Like a boss. First job is to um, spread some of this shit onto the bread. This is. Um, got my spoon stuck. I've got my spoon stuck. Ah, it's dribbling. It's dribbling. Ah. Oh my god. Ah. Now, tomato sauce has just flown everywhere. Ah, oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. Okay, now, I'm going to spread the sauce carefully onto the dough. This will make it nice and um, pizzery. This, by the way, is, this is tomato and basil stir-in sauce. Some mozzarella. Be a little bit sparing with that. This is German peppered salami. Um, I like this on a pizza. A generous, generous dose of German peppered salami. Now we're adding some sliced pepperoni because, of course, um, it's not a pizza if it doesn't have pepperoni on it. So I'll make a little uh, pepperoni pattern. Yeah, let's actually make a line of pepperonis down the middle. That's quite a clever idea, isn't it? Yes, like that. And then um, I'm going to add some chicken as well. We have honest value chicken breast trim, which means all the shit bits that weren't good enough to go in a proper package of chicken breast. Um, these are um, probably quite disgusting. Um, these are the bits that get left over. These are the bits that my dad used to make into chicken soup back in the day. Um, although it wasn't called trim then, it was just called chicken. It was just <laughs> the remains of the chicken. It's impossible to do this neatly because they're not... Oh, I've just dropped another whole piece on the floor. They're not very neat. Anyway, so that's the chicken pieces. Um, now I'm going to put on some... Seriously serious cheddar. That's all to do it. And then we're going to put on some more mozzarella, which will bind it together, theoretically. A generous helping of mozzarella. And then we'll add um, some Italian herbs to the top um, to make it look pretty and add a bit of extra flavour. Ah, savour the flavour. So plenty of herbs on the top and sod it, I think I'll put some garlic granules on the top as well just to make it properly noxious. Look at that. So uh, there you have it, I have created a pizza masterpiece. Look at that, marvellous. I'm very, very proud of myself. I made a pizza all by myself like a big boy. And now all that remains to do is put it in the oven and try not to burn the van down. Oh, ouch.
actually, that's not too bad. It's only a little bit burned. I honestly believe I perpetrated the worst pizza in the history of human culinary prowess. It was absolutely vile, uh, and there's only one person I can blame. Mandy. You could get a cheaper one in the supermarket anyway. And on that bitter note, it's time to call it a day. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't already, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share, comment, do all the good stuff, and I will see you next time. See you later.